it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm taking part in a YouTube pop to celebrate our good friend Joanne Bartel reaching a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. So in honour of Joanne I have picked one of her layouts to scrap lift and you can see it on the screen here now. Um, I loved the way she had a circular photo in the centre of the page and then had um, like die cut circles all the way around the outside made up of um, pattern papers. So that's the design I'm going with. I've used my Hip Kit Club metal nesting dies for this and I love these because you get loads of them in the pack so you get lots of options for sizes but also because they give a little stitched detail around the outside edge of all the circles um, which I think just adds a little bit of texture and interest to the page. And I've cut my circles using um, one of the pattern papers from Coco Vanilla Studios Sunkist collection which was released last year. I've still got quite a bit of this collection left. Um, I think I bought it and then I went and restocked it because I was getting through it. So especially my favourite papers um, and the floral ephemera packs I know I bought duplicates of. So I've cut my circles from one of those pattern papers um, and I love the way that that paper is like almost like paint strokes all over the page. So you get loads of different colours. Um, so it's quite a busy paper for me to have as like a background. I would probably never do that because it is quite busy. Um, but when I've cut it up into circles and just used small circles, um, I just really like the way it looks. So I'm arranging them in a circle around my photo, trying to kind of spread out the colours a bit so I don't want all the pink in one area and all the green in the other, um, kind of try to spread that out a bit. Then because there is a lot of pink in that um, those circles, trying to balance it out a bit and bring in some boyish colours. So I've used a blue, so kind of like a navy blue um, and a kind of marine turquoise green coloured pattern papers just um, as layers to sit behind my photo. So I've cut those, I've stuck my photo on the pattern paper and then kind of cut it freehand. Um, it's not perfect circle by any means, but because I've distressed the edges, I'm really not too fussed about that. It kind of hides a um, multitude of sins with my um, uneven circle cutting. So I've got my photo in place and I've got my pattern paper circles um, arranged around that and I'm just adding a little tiny line of wet glue in the centre of each of those circles just to kind of tack them into place because I am going to run those through my sewing machine in a minute to add a little bit of stitch detail. I love using machine stitching on a layout, it brings so much fun and texture to a page. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with those and I think Joanne might have done the same thing on her layout, I can't remember now, I have to have a look in the close up at the end. Um, but yeah, so I've done a line of stitching all through the centre and then I've pulled my threads to the back um, and just got all those sort of neatly taped down in place. And then as Joanne has done with her layout, I'm adding some floral ephemera pieces all around my photo. Um, Joanne's used the Maggie Holmes Garden Party collection, so there's lots of lovely pink florals in that. I'm using the CVS ones that come with this collection because I have so many of them um, in lots of different colours and I just love the shape and the colours and the design of them, I just think they're really pretty flowers. And some have got leaves on and some haven't, um, and the petals are all different shapes. So I'm just going around having um, a play with those and getting them in place. And then on Jo's layout, she's got a couple of like little leafy sprig bits um, popping out from behind her pattern paper circles. So I've done that as well with some of those ephemera pieces. And now I'm just trying to decide on my title. So on um, Joanne's original, she's got her title um, using thickers going all the way around the outside edge of the layout. And I knew I would never be able to get my title in a perfect circle. I don't know how Joanne's done it, but it looks amazing. I knew I'd never be able to do that. So um, I am on a design team with Joanne. We're both on the Bramble Fox design team. So in honor of that, I thought I would use one of my Bramble Fox perspective titles. Um, so I've used Summer Adventures. I did toy with another one that was, um, I think it said My Someone Special with a little love heart, but it was white and I felt like it didn't stand out enough. So I've gone with Summer Adventures, love the way that looks, and I'm just gonna have it resting at the bottom of my photo there in the center of the page. And in yet another nod to Joanne's original, I'm adding some mixed media um, just to the outside edge of those circles. So it looks like Joanne's done something similar with a stencil and some ink. It's 
very subtle mixed media, nothing messy and wet. Um, I'm using a stencil, it's kind of like a floral mandala. This came with the April um, kits from Hip Kit Club. So I'm using that and a mix of Distress Inks and Distress Oxides. Um, so the pink, the blue and the orange are all Distress Oxides and those are in Picked Raspberry, Pink Break and China and White Persimmon. And then my green is a Distress Ink and that's Mowed Lawn. And I've just used some blending brushes um, just through that stencil to add the detail in. And then all that's really left for me to do is get everything stuck down in place and I'm bending up the edges of all my petals and leaves and things um, to bring in a bit of dimension and interest to make them look a bit more 3D. So whilst I'm going around doing this, um, I did mention at the beginning it is a celebratory hop. So there are lots of us taking part today to celebrate Joanne reaching a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Um, I will pop a link down in the description box below for my video and that will have um, the list of every everybody who is taking part today and their channel links so you can just work your way through the list below and um, just click on the link and then watch that person's video and spread a bit of love leave a comment or a like or subscribe and then you can go to their description box and pull up the list again and move on to the next person so that's kind of how these hops work if you are new to them and it's been a long time since I've been able to participate in a hop um, I got myself a bit tied up in lots of design teams and kind of all my scrapbooking was design team work um, and commitment so I didn't really have a lot of time for just playing. I can only really scrapbook when my little boy's asleep so that only leaves me my evenings um, and that's just taken up by design team products and uh, process videos and reels um, and the like um, but I've recently stepped down from a couple of design teams so that's given me a little bit more time um, kind of just to play with um, the kit I've got. I've got so much stash and it's just building each month with all the design team products I've sent and I absolutely love obviously all the products um, and love working with them but my stash is building up and I need to start busting through a bit of it so um, these hops are a great way for me to do that at the same time as celebrating my friends and their achievements um, and Joanne was kind enough to take part in um, probably both of my hops I think I know she definitely took part in my last one um, so I wanted to spread the love um, and I was really pleased that I was able to take part today um, so yeah I'll leave the link in the description box below to everybody else's channels and it'd be really fab if you could subscribe and like and comment and just work your way through the list um, and share a bit of scrappy love so whilst I've been rabbiting on there, um, I've just added a few more bits to my layout, um, mainly puffy stickers from the CVS Sunkist collection. I've got a few hearts, a couple of flowers and a couple of rainbows. Um, I'm just trying out a few more Bramble Fox perspectives here. Um, if you're new to Bramble Fox, they are a UK company that ship worldwide. Um, you can have a monthly Fox box, I think that's where my title is from, um, or you can buy items directly from the store. So I've got a few packs here on the left of the screen. Um, and in the end, I just settled for a couple of hearts, just a little a subtle detail. And I've just stuck those going diagonally kind of through my photo. And that's me finished for today. So thank you very much for joining me. Massive congratulations to Joanne and thank you so much for having me in your hop um, and for letting me scrap lift one of your beautiful layouts. Um, love your original and love how this one turned out. Um, so congratulations, Joanne. Thank you very much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, it would be fantastic if you could hit that subscribe button and follow me for more scrappy fun. I've been a little bit quiet on my channel recently with all the design team commitments, but I'm hoping to um, have a few more layouts and videos um, published soon. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.